Uh, my name is Damon Young, uh, Chief Petty Officer Combat Systems Manager. I work for the Air Warfare Destroyer Capability Implementation Team and uh, uh, I work uh, with an organisation that's effectively uh, uh, helping Navy or designed to help Navy uh, meet the capability that the Air Warfare Destroyer brings as soon as we can. So it's, uh, the system is very capable and not just the Aegis system but uh, a lot of the associated systems, the sonar and the electronic warfare system that come with the ship and they present a, 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 a fantastic capability for our Navy but in saying that it presents a, the challenge for us that we need to have our support organisations shaped to be be able to support that ship at sea and its task at sea and it's quite a complex uh, environment that uh, we are seeing the Americans have had nearly 30 years of Aegis experience and they have made those mistakes and learned from those and uh, and uh, we're hoping to uh, uh, piggyback off those uh, early lessons they've made and, and shape our organisation uh, to maybe not uh, mirror the US but certainly uh, to be able to provide the same level of support that they can with their ships at sea and keep them up. Uh, USS McCampbell is the, uh, uh, an earlier baseline of Aegis program that we're getting. Uh, cosmetically, when you look at it, you won't see too much difference and you look at the ship and the, uh, the, uh, the spy radar arrays, you won't know much different. Uh, but behind, in the background, is a, uh, the uh, software and there's a lot of uh, uh, changes. But uh, this baseline we're on here is the uh, last uh, US destroyer with the, a mix of mil-spec and computer, uh, a commercial off-the-shelf. Uh, hardware in the background where the baseline we're getting is fully cotsed and uh, uh, a, little, uh, a little different to what we're seeing here but it brings a, a, a deal more capability and the baseline of radar that we're getting is uh, uh, more advanced than this baseline.